Absolutely. Yeah, it's known as Takasubo syndrome or broken heart syndrome. Um, Takasubo is a, a Japanese uh, kind of fishing vessel, or I should say fishing pot that uh, they catch octopus in. And that's what the left ventricle looks like when people have this broken heart syndrome. So they present after an emotional event, you know, somebody in the family dies or in a car accident, they smoke cocaine, something happens where their sympathetic drive is very high. Uh, and they present to the hospital like if they're having a heart attack. And we would rush them off to the cath lab, find out that they didn't have any significant blockages in the arteries. And then when we did the left ventricular gram, their heart wasn't pumping very well. Um, and so kind of supportive care after a couple of days, usually the heart function returns to normal. But it's a high risk of sudden cardiac death when you have that. Mm. Is it mostly women or men? Generally women, older women particularly. Mm. We hear the term heart disease all the time. But what is heart disease? That's the umbrella term. I mean, there's coronary artery disease, there's heart failure, there's valvular heart disease. Um, so you really have to do define terms, but you know, vascular disease, you know, 60,000 miles of blood vessels. You gotta go looking where the disease is at. Hmm. You know, as I was preparing for this episode, cardiovascular disease, as you had mentioned, is still so prevalent and it's not getting better, which is surprising. And it makes me think, okay, what do we know that drives heart disease? And again, it is an umbrella term. So perhaps we start with, I don't know, take your pick. 